Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am going to start my next start to finish Christmas journals today. And I'm going to use the Nostalgic Noel kit from Rach and Bella Crafts. Um, I earlier did the collaboration and made these rustic tags. So that's, that's what we're going to be up to today. I do have a few things to share that came in the mail, however. So let's say hi and hugs and we'll jump in. Hi and hugs to Diana, Denise, Renee, and Amanda. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your kind comments. Okay, well, first of all, I want to say a special hi and hugs to Judy. Judy is um, is on a trip and she sent me this cute little Christmas postcard. So thank you so much, Judy. I love him. He is so cute. So this is going in my correspondence journal. Um, I ordered from the Modern Quilter, which is where I get most of my fabrics. I ordered the uh, Seth Apter Live Out Loud fabric. And so just kind of wanted to give you a little, a little show of that. And um, I think these are half yards, if I'm not mistaken. And so plenty to be able to do covers. Look at, aren't they so pretty? Look at that one. Love it. Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Love this brown. This would be fun for a fall journal, wouldn't it? All the colors. <laughs> and then this, this with this one. Oof. Yum. Yeah. And um, I think I think I might do a couple journals that are art journals, maybe with watercolor paper in them or something. I was thinking those two go great together too. It's like he knew I needed an inside and an outside to my journal covers. <laughs> yeah, so I wanted to share that and just in case you haven't seen the beautiful fabrics that he's come out with recently. And then I got a package from my friend Terry and I've been waiting to look at it until I could look at it with you all. Um, Terry is the Celtic Craft Studio on Etsy and um, oh, she's just a sweetheart. Thank you, Terry, for your note too. Okay, so what, what we have, let's see. Is this the I, I'm, I wanted to give you the description, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. But um, Christmas ephemera. So look at her. That would be a super cute topper too, wouldn't it? Then there's this. So cute. And then there's this. Merry Christmas, it says on the other side. Isn't that beautiful? She just does, she just does such awesome work. I mean, and I'm telling you what, Tim Holtz and Christmas, does it get any better than that? <laughs> okay, and this is one of her super cool um, journal inserts that she does. And this one for Christmas. I love these, love these. Awesome. So cool. So cool. Yep. I mean, I love, I love her normal ones, but then you, you add Tim Holtz into the, or I mean Christmas into the Tim Holtz equation and it's just so much fun. So love that. Love it. Terry. Okay. And then, okay. So these she just sent along, these ones, these tags. So I'll tell you, this one is a Christmas ephemera set of four. And look, look how fun those are. Little, the little die cut pockets. And then she's, she's wrapped a little wrap around them. There's a couple of cards in the wrap and then some fun things behind. 
Yep. Awesome, Terry. So, so fun. So there's four of those. I'm so excited. I want to do a Tim Holtz Christmas journal. That's why I have to start in October because I have so many that I want to make. It just, you know. And then I got a 10 by 18 um, fabric for a Christmas for a Christmas journal cover. So that's what this is. It's just the fabric. And um, I, one of the ones that I made at my retreat had a similar red, green, black with the gold fabric. And uh, it turned out to be one of my faves. So I'm excited to have that to play with to make another journal cover. Okay, so that's it. Um, yeah, if you haven't looked at, at the Celtic Craft Studio, you are missing out, I'm telling you. So, yeah, I'm going to set these aside, and we'll get started on our project. So, we've got these. Let's get a bucket. Because, you know, I have to have my bucket for, for doing things. Now, these four, five, four... Five. <laughs> these five are ready to go so they'll go in here these still need a little um embellishment some sort of little focal point so those will kind of be set aside um these are all the papers we'll have to work with in the journals um the kit is the kits it's huge there's add-on ephemera there's fussy cut kit there's um, the, the actual kit, and then there's background papers too. So, so what I've done is I have taken, I just printed them on one side just because for the collaboration, I didn't know what I would use. And so I've taken the sheets and I've actually put them blank side to blank side and sewn around them so that they're two-sided. And, um, I could have, yes, I could have printed on the other side, but I love the strings. I love the feel of these, and they're a little bit more crunchy because they've got air in between, I guess. I don't know. But um, I'm going to use this collaged cover for one. Um, it's a Amazon packaging collaged. And then this one is some uh, Roxy Creations fabric on the outside, but I thought it would be super pretty. This one has a little more, um, a little more blue to it, and I've got blue on the cover, so I think they go, I think they go pretty well. So we're gonna do two journals at once. All that to say, we're just gonna, yep, we're just gonna do it. And um, first step is we're. Uh, oh, let me just say before I get on to what we're going to do, these covers, they're in my journal cover series um, uh, playlist uh, because I get comments about it start to finish, but you didn't show the, the cover. I make my covers ahead. I make them when I'm inspired to make them. And so those covers are always in the journal cover series playlist. Okay. Okay, let's start picking some papers for this. Um, I'm just going to grab over my big old box of papers. I'll slide everything else over a little bit for the moment. Just got to get myself organized here. Okay, let's see what we can find to go in these. Um, this particular one, it's got more, it's got more kind of people in it. This one's people-y. <laughs> so yes, that little girl, little girl's there. So this one's people-y. This one is more um, Christmas scenes, objects, that sort of thing. So let's see what we can do. Um, I really, I really love this, this card. Could I put that into a signature? No, I couldn't put it in the signature there because, so this is gonna need to be a flip out, isn't it? 
Okay, I'm gonna keep this one with this one, but yeah, it's gonna need to be a flip out. Okay, let's see what else I have. This is a pack that I had from um, Jesse at Vintage Studio 717. Just a all sorts of little Christmas stuff. So I just kind of wanted to see what all's in here. Ooh, that's vellum. That's cool. I don't think I want it in the, um, I don't want it in the signature, but I'm going to put that in front because that would be super fun to make something with. We've got a couple of big envelopes. So I think I'm going to go green here, red here, and those can go, that can go into the actual signature. Oh, look at this. That's fun. And that would go in this one really well. Okay. How big is this? Six by eight. Hmm. I'm thinking, could I cut it down a little? I probably could. I'm going to use this in this one, but I don't know how yet. <laughs> okay, let's see what else. Um, there's some fun Christmas wrap in here. How cute is that one with the angels? About eight by ten. Let's see. The Santa's going to be sideways, but I think I'll put that in this one. Um, just kind of checking out what we have in the other one for the other one. Oh, that is awesome. Go like that and make that. A pocket? I think I could. Just make it out a little pocket on the inside. Okay, I'm going to do that. Okay, got a little wrapping paper in each one. That's good. Uh, let's see. Um, nothing in there, I don't think. Okay, so then let's look at the papers. I've got I've got this, which of course I have been using in just about every journal. And it's been great. It's been great to use. Okay. And then I've got, what do I have left? Oh, I only have one green piece left. I'm going to have to put an order in at Triple V Vintage. I can see that. Okay. So, I'm going to put that with this one. And I've got these ornaments from Triple V Vintage. So, I'm going to put one in there. And one in there, and that leaves me one left. Gosh, I've really, well, I've made a lot of Christmas journals, so there is that. Um, oh, I've got two pieces of the holly. Let's do one of those in each one. Okay. Um, Gosh, I've only got one poinsettia left. Yep, just one. I think that's enough of those, though. Let's put some Christmas music in. Oh, there's the last one of that. Hmm. Okay, well, I think what I'm going to do is keep that for the moment, and I'm going to undo this one.
staple puller here. Oops. Oh, gosh, I am fumbly. Good thing I'm working with sheets of paper mostly. <laughs> Anything intricate might not have happened today. Goodness. <clears throat> so I'm filming ahead, of course, but um, so this past weekend would be the state tournament volleyball for my granddaughters. We're going to going to leave this afternoon for that. So it'll be fun because my son's daughter's playing and my daughter's daughter is playing. So it'll be good family time with them too. Meanwhile, my grandson has his um, playoff football game. So on Saturday, we're hoping to be home in time, but we'll see. I don't, I don't know. Okay, how about doilies? What do we want for that? I think I'm going to pull out of here a couple. This is inked paper arts. I've had this for several years, so I don't know if she still has the Christmas doilies or not, but that's where I got them. Oh, whoops. What am I doing? i to put it back in, the, back in the folder. Helps protect them a bit. Okay. What else would I like put in there? Well, that's just that. Oh, how about some Florentine paper? Always fun. Um, that piece, oh, that piece is ripped because I because I probably did that. <laughs> um, I also have some fun sacks here. Oh my goodness gracious, Dale. Ooh, look at this green one's neat. Gold and... know what these are but they're cool oh goodness they're big hmm. not not Christmassy though so I think I'll pass on that I got this star one back here Yeah, that's cool. I like that one and that one. I might put those together in one. Get a little crazy and put them together. Let's do that one. And is that just one? Yep. Okay. All right. That does it for there. Um, I may let me go into just my oh, I know what else. Oh, there's no huh. I don't have any pre-made pages at all. So there's that. All right, let's 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 see what all we've got here. Um, so these have how many pages? One, two, three, four, five, six pages. Okay, so I'm going to need nine-ish pieces of paper. Other pieces of paper. So there's that. I was thinking this would be fun on that. So that's good. Might have to just go with some regular coffee dyed paper. Um, 
you know what I am going to do is I'm going to look at my pre-made pages non-Christmas and see if there's something maybe in there that we'd want to use. Okay, that. This and this. So what is that? Five, six, kind of seven-ish. We need a couple more in that one. And then this one, I think it's got six too, doesn't it? Yep. Yep. So. Yeah, I was thinking in my regular box, I might have something that <clears throat> isn't necessarily Christmas, but the that the um, colors would go well. Very crinkly, that paper. Okay, and then I'll put this here. We'll need to fold it in. Fold it this way so you can see deck the halls. Like so. Okay, there's that. And then let's do this with this. that okay and then I think I want this doily in here and I want this doily in the other one okay so then let's grab oh, grab my regular pages box and just see if there's something in here we might like to use. Um, that's sort of Christmassy, isn't it? That sack. I'm going to leave that as a potential. Okay, a lot of, a lot of florals and stuff in here. Um, well, those aren't going to work, but let's just see. Um, gosh, I've got some great pages in here. I'm excited to use. Okay. Yes, bees and birds, not so much. Butterflies, not so much. Um, you know, I could actually use one of these. Because they're very similar colors. I'm going to use one of each of those in these. Mmm, that one's... One's really Christmassy looking. I'm gonna give it to that one over there. I mean, the colors are Christmassy, you know. So this was worth going through just for that. We've got a couple of couple of pages there. Um, I'm also thinking, what about a Rhonda without an H? May she be resting. May I mean may may she be crafting in heaven? Because that sounds like heaven to me, doesn't it to you? Okay. Just having a look. See, that's Christmassy with the red. Okay, I've got some green Rhonda pages. Kind of more turquoise but I think they'd work 
Ew, not that one. It says the devil's disciple. I could put something over that. No, I'll go say that. That's not going to work. Okay, maybe those two. Yeah, all those are Rhonda pages. Maybe the slice one could go with that other lace one. Okay, cool. I think we might have enough now. Alrighty then. Let's see. I think I want that one with this one. This one with this one. And we'll go that away. Alright. And I still have this little guy if I want to use him. Okie dokie. Let's see here. So what do I have? Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten with the envelope. And over here we would have um, two, four, six, eight. So I'm going to put this in with this one. Okay. We are ready to put it together, I think. Let's get it together. I'm going to have this on the front. I think that will be, that will be pretty with the floral inside. And I think I'm going to just give those a little burnish as I go. Okay, so that's the outside. Now, what do we want to have in the middle? Everything splits pretty well. I think I'll do this one in the middle. The churches. Open the doors and see all the people. Okay, it's that one. Yeah, so I did all my sewing of pages off camera as well, but I just, I just put them back to back and sew around the edge. That's basically all there is to that. And see, then I'll have all that yummy thread hanging out the side. But if you're a person who doesn't like the hanging thread, you can always just cut it off. They are knotted. Each page is knotted. That takes me, that takes me the longest, I think, is tying a knot. Because I don't want to backstitch because it'll tear the paper, you know. So, yeah, so it takes a minute, but it's okay. It's so good. Yeah, let's do it with my husband. I can hear him. He's getting ready to go to his boxing class, which is awesome. He's going to get that in before we go. Okay, um, these two are somewhat similar, so I'm going to put one in the front and one in the back, or one in the middle of the signature more so, like this. Like that, okay. And then these are both kind of coffee dyed. So let's put, put you there. And then this one here. And here, let's put the green. Okay, now we've got a paper in between each one of the digitals. Now we get to just see where we would like stuff. I like that there. Okay, that there. And where I think I might like this one here. Just a little vintage wrapping paper. Um, 
put like that against there. So let's put this here. And let's put, put the doily on the envelope. And I'm going to put that there. Oh, is this one supposed to go in here? Yes, it is. So where are we going to put that? Um, let's put that under this. Yeah. Okay. So there's that one. Stick that in there. And these are the bits to work with this one. I think what I'm going to do is grab one more bucket and then I'll have one for each journal. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. And this one, I think I might use this sack in. Okay. So that's all situated. Now let's do the next one. Okay, we'll switch sides here with this and with this. And these folded. I want her in the front because she's adorable. And she's on the right side of the page. So, okay, so there's her. Now, what do we want in the middle? We could do this one in the middle. Because if we fold it, one of the little girls is going to be all by herself on the side. Yeah, let's do this one in the middle. Okay. Yeah, see that way you can see all three of them together. Okay, cool. This one. And this one. That's probably not going to be together anyway. So I'm not going to worry about if it goes with the page next to it because it'll probably be one of the others, not a digital. Okay, this one. Okay, and I think this one I'm going to put at the beginning because I don't, it's very similar to the middle and I don't want them to be right together. So we'll put this one here and then this one will be in the middle. So they're spread apart a little bit, you know. Okay. We've got these two that are similar, so we're going to spread them out a bit here and here. Okay, and then these two, the same, we're just going to put those where we think. Right there and here. Ooh, that looks pretty against those flowers. I gotta gotta keep that there. Okay, and that's it for the kind of coffee dyed ones. So now um, let's put this one in between here. Maybe go. Um, that needs something on it, I think. That would be kind of pretty. Let's do that. Like that. Okay. I like that next to there. Um, that 
putting that there. Okay. Um, the green envelope. Where do we want to put it? Right there. that there but I'm thinking maybe I'd like this and that yes yes I would okay um, let's put the music here we're gonna need to look at how the first Noel N-O-W-E-L-L -L. So I thought that was interesting. <laughs> At what point did we change that, you know? Okay. Put that there. Yes, I like that. Um, and then... Where do we want our put our bird here and then he'd be by those birds maybe we'll do that and then I'm going to glue this down as a side tuck so that'll be that will be that okay so there's that one now let's, so this is going to be the bucket for that one so this goes in there um Lots, lots of people, lots of people. So I don't need to worry about that. So this, this one doesn't have a people that's going in the one with more of the objects, but then we're going to have to split these up too. Um, maybe I'll go with that one in there, that one there, that one there. An eeny, meeny, chili, beanie on this one. I'll put it in there for now. Okay. So, pink goes with pink. Let's remember that. And blue goes with the blue cover. Okay. Now, we are... Oh, wait. I have this for this one. Yet. Don't I? Okay, well... I'm going to put that there. Be nice decoration, but then we'll leave this whole thing for writing. Okay, cool. How are we doing time-wise? Ooh, we've got 20 minutes. Can we get them both sewn in? What do you think? Don't know till you try, Gail. Don't know till you try. Okay. We've got Book Cradle from Crafty Cat USA on Etsy. <laughs> Such a broken record with that, aren't I? But, you know, there's new people that may not have heard me say it four million times, you know. <laughs> okay. So we need clips. Clips. And um, I'm just going to use kind of a neutral color because I'm going to put lace on this anyway. Yeah, and I don't know. I might put a label or something on this, but I really want this picture to show. So I wasn't planning on a topper, per se, for this at all. Okay, let's get our pages situated. there. Okay. I think we're, I think we're set. Okay. Just gonna, I just kind of eyeball that it's in, in the middle of the, of the cover. So like a little hanging over here and a little hanging over there. already feel kind of fat 
which makes me happy. I like a, like a nice round journal. So when this airs, um, I will have put on my retreat journals on my Etsy. And so um, you might check. I mean, I don't know if they'll be gone by today or not. But I had to wait until I got home from state volleyball to list them. So, Ugh. okay, got that. Then I go an inch up from each end. So that looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Okay. Three times the zip, zip, zip. Three times the length of your pages. Okay. And we'll just get that in. I'm going to leave the ends hanging because I'm going to put some fun little Christmas um, oh little Christmas charms that I got at a jewel no journal journal design and supply on Etsy so we'll pull those out when we're all done I don't know why but that's kind of like my last thing as if it's the icing on the cake or something <laughs> Okay, so got that. Let's pull through. Goodness, pull through. Okay, and I'm going to just cinch this up as tight as I can. Tie it in double knot. And we're done until we put on the charms. Okay, cool. One done. I think we're going to make it. I'm cautiously optimistic. <laughs> oh, my my husband will say she's always optimistic. Well, you know, if that's the worst you can say about me, I think I'm doing okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's just make sure things are lined up as we want them. Yep. Yep. Yes. Okay. We are good. So, get this one clipped in. Okay. And that one. I'm excited to have these started. I think these are going to be fun. And, um, you know, I'm going to try and use some of my pre-made ephemera because, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world if you go into next Christmas with some pre-made ephemera. But I do try to use what I've made this year pretty much. Okay, I think we got that one. Can get rid of this. It is very handy though, the book cradle. It just makes things easy. And you know, it makes your your holes that you punch a lot straighter, I think. And yeah, it's a it's a real good tool. Been using it for years. Oh, I didn't quite get through there, though. But that that was operator error. I like especially the middle one to be decently sized because we have to go through it twice, you know. And the second time through, I want to avoid my thread so that um, I don't split it or anything. Because if you do, you can't um, pull your strings tight. 
So I pull this over and hold it with my thumb and I kind of go in at an angle away from the previous thread and that's really helpful. Okie dokie. Let's go through to the other side like so. I'm gonna pull it nice and tight and give it a double knot. Yep. And then I think I'm gonna put lace on each. So we maybe, do we have time to pick it out? Yeah, we might. Moving right along. <laughs> getting more done than I thought here. This is awesome. All right, so let's get stuff put away here. And let's take a look at what lace we'd like because what's awesome about that is it can dry until our next episode. Okay, um, I don't want red. I don't want green. I think I might just want white on there. Um, I've got one in mind, but I don't know. Yep, right here. I wasn't sh quite sure which bin it was in. So let's grab that. And... It's very dainty lace, this one. And we'll just put that right down the middle. So we will be ready to pick out ephemera and, um, and move right along next time. Okay, so this one could use more of a colorful lace. And I am thinking I might want to do pink. Why not? Why not? Let's see what we have in the pink line of things. Oh, is that too big? I got to try something. I have this awesome pink lace and I haven't used much of it. Um, where did I get this? I can't remember now. Antique mall or something? Ooh, I love that. Yep. Let's use this. Yeah, and as I recall, it was just a giant bundle of lace that they were selling for not very much, and I was like, uh, yes, please. Okay. Yeah, so that sits over at my, um, I have a rolly cart that has lace in it. Oh, yeah, that's going to be great. Okay, let's, let's get those glued down, and then we'll be... We will be set. Okay, I'm going to kind of, with this one, I'll be going back in and doing the scallops. Just going to kind of eyeball that, and then we'll just go down, and then I'll come back and down each edge following the scallops. I like to go one up the sewing, in up the spine. Okay, so it's got a nice little, nice little vine right down the middle so you can tell where you're at. Okay, get the inside pressed down. Now I'll go on the outside and we'll just secure those scallops.
Okay. Pat that down. And then I'm gonna do the other side too. Awesome. Okay, set that one aside to dry. And then this one, I'll do the same thing on those little scallops. I'll come back and just um, make sure those little edges are secure. Again, it's got a nice little center bit that tells me where I need to be on the spine. Okay, I'm just gonna quick like do this edge. Oops. Okay, and now we can let those dry until our next episode. So yeah, start to finish two journals at once. Just show you how I kind of organize and, um, and kind of do them both at once. So there we go. There are our two so far so good. So thanks everybody for crafting with me today. I hope you have a grateful day. Be kind always, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.